Hi, and just today we are going to learn the relation between the overshoot and damping coefficient. So, this is relation between overshoot and damping coefficient. So in order to describe the relation between overshoot and damping coefficient, consider the following things. So if the response is like this, this is the response and if the ultimate <coughs> value is suppose 16 and the minimum value is suppose 10 and we need to find the overshoot for the damping coefficient suppose 0 0.6 0 0.4 0 0.2 and for 0 0.1 now we know that our overshoot is equal to e to the power minus pi phi upon root 1 minus phi square so when phi is 0 0.6 let us see what will be our overshoot <coughs> so this will be e to the power minus pi into phi upon root 1 minus phi square so our overshoot will be equal to 0 0.0948 and now from this graph this is suppose 7 this is suppose C2 and we know that C1 by C2 is our overshoot and what we are going to do is so this is our maximum value this is our ultimate value of response and this is the minimum value of response so from this graph we can write that the maximum value of response minus the ultimate value of response divided by the ultimate value of response minus the minimum value of re response which is equal to C1 over C2 which is equal to our overshoot so in the first case our maximum value will be equal to x minus the ultimate value 16 divided by 16 minus 10 which is equal to 0 0.0948 so we have our maximum value of response at 16.5689 this is for case 1 and for case 2 our overshoot will be equal to e to the power negative pi into 0 0.4 divided by root 1 minus 0 0.4 square so in the second case our overshoot is 25.40% and our maximum value of response is x minus 16 divided by 16 minus 10 which is equal to 0 0.2540 so in the second case our maximum value is 17.524 and from this two case it is very clear that as our damping coefficient is decreased then our overshoot is increased and our maximum value is also increased let us check for our third case when the damping coefficient is 0 0.2 so e to the power negative pi into 0 0.2 divided by root 1 minus 0.2 square so our overshoot is 0 0.5267 and now maximum value is so 
x minus 16 divided by 16 minus 10 which is equal to 0.5267 so our maximum value is 19.1602 so from this three cases we conclude that as the damping coefficient decreases because we are decreasing the, the, the damping coefficient then our overshoot increases thank you for watching this video